Hi all folks, this is Max from uh, Galaxy S3 Root.com. Um, so I've got the T-Mobile Galaxy S3 and I did post the uh, Sprint Timo AT&T method um, but uh, it seems like some of you are having uh, trouble getting into recovery so let me just make it for T-Mobile here just walk you through uh, first you want to do it uh, you want to put it into download mode hold down volume down center button and the power button All right. And uh, hold it down until your phone resets into download mode. Um, there we go. Now a lot of you are having trouble uh, with this. Um, let go of the power button when your phone resets. There you go. And now it will get into the download. The, so the only difference really between the AT&T and Sprint in this version is that for T-Mobile version you have to actually let go of the power button just the way T-Mobile likes it that's how they did it and then uh, plug in to your computer and let's go to our computer next you'll want to uh, basically download Galaxy S3 root Sprint dot zip unzip it you'll get all these files here um, double click on Odin V 1.85 uh, if you run that you'll get um, this here you should get a comm sign there. If you don't get the comm sign with a random number there uh, with a yellow highlight, um, go ahead and install Samsung Keys. I'll have download links to that also. And uh, run the EXE program, uh, install it, unplug your phone and plug it back in and it should turn on. And also actually turn off Samsung Keys. It should be actually off. Or um, if you have trouble getting that yellow highlight, try just killing keys in uh, Task Manager. And select PDA, select clockworkmod.tar, hit open, and uh, hit start. And that's pretty much it. And it should take like five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. Um, so it rebooted, and we're going to let it reboot. And uh, basically, we're going to close up the uh, Odin here. And you're going to Click, uh, copy this file, cwm blah blah dot zip, right click, copy, and uh, um, and then you're going to copy it into your uh, Galaxy S3 when it shows up there. Um, a lot of people ask me if you know you have to use, if you can use the latest version. You can, um, it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, the newer versions and the new, uh, the older versions, they're pretty much, it does the same thing. Um, so it doesn't really matter, it does the same thing, it gives you uh, super user and uh, basically super user access and it, you're not going to see any uh, speed improvements or any kind of improvements by installing the new version so I just left the one of the you know versions there. Um, go ahead and click on T99, go to phone, right click and paste and you should get it uh, somewhere, it, you can put it in any directory. Um, put it there and let's go back to our phone now. All right, now we're going to boot into uh, recovery, clockwork by recovery. Hold down, volume up, center button, and the power button. And the difference with the T-Mobile version is you have to let go of the power button when your phone resets, okay? So wait, and let go of the power button when the screen goes off. All right, and then you'll be in clockwork mod recovery. I know a lot of you were having trouble doing this, so... Um, I just wanted to make this video to make it clear for Timo Galaxy S3 users. And uh, once you're here, let me turn on the light so you can see better. Um, go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and choose that file you copied over earlier. Hit the power button, say yes, and that's it. And, uh, and go back and uh, reboot system now. And anytime you want to make a backup, that's how you do it um, by going into Clockwork Mod Recovery, volume up, center button, and the power, and let go of the power button when your phone resets, and you'll enter Clockwork Mod Recovery where you can install, backup, restore ROMs, that's what it's, and also flash uh, other zip files as needed, such as the Super User Super SU zip file we just flashed, which gives you root. And uh, this is pretty safe to do, um, as it's. I have my AT&T SIM card in there. 
That's why I was asking for sim unlock. But um, once you've done that, you should have a super user. There you go. That's it. Um, if, if I ask you to update the batteries, just say yes. Um, doesn't really matter. But you have uh, rooted Galaxy S3, T-Mobile Galaxy S3, um, T999. So there you go. Um, that's how you root your T-Mobile Galaxy S3. And I'll have a guide for uh, Linux and Mac um, to walk you through also. All right, see y'all later. Oh, and uh, if you have a Galaxy S3, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS3root.com. We update you once a week with uh, ROM of the Week, stuff like this. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me if you have trouble rooting your phone um, or whatnot. And uh, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button up here if you have. Thanks a lot. And use that share button to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Anyway, stay high on Android, folks. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff coming. And uh, tomorrow is the Galaxy S3 giveaway. Um, winner announced at 12 p.m. So uh, watch out for that. And see y'all later. And uh, as always, don't buy an iPhone. It sucks. What is that noise? Oh.